As you might expect, the tragedy has tentacles that reach around the world. Tonight, a longtime professor at Brandeis University is mourning the loss of his daughter and son-in-law, both shot dead by Hamas militants while protecting their young son. We'll get the story now from WBZ's Laura Hayfley. My grandson has witnessed the murder of his mother by people who rehearsed what they were doing. 50-year-old Deborah Matias and her husband Shloma were killed by members of Hamas militant groups during Saturday's attacks in Israel. The terrorists came into their place, broke through the doors, shot them. Deborah Matias's father, Elon Troen, is a Brandeis University professor of Israel studies and tells WBZ his daughter's last act of motherhood was defending her child. They made sure to fall on him and thereby saved his life, although a bullet actually entered his abdomen. Professor Troen was in Israel at the time of the attacks and rushed to a hospital in the southern part of the country to meet his 16-year-old grandson, Rotem, recovering from his injuries, surrounded by his aunts, uncles, and two sisters. The devastating events in Israel are far-reaching, affecting families who call Massachusetts home. I can't imagine what this professor is feeling and, and the loss that he's had to take. After a week-long visit to her home country, Christine Goddard and her husband left Israel the morning of the bombings, barely escaping. Not long after we departed Israel, they started grounding flights. It's just so sad because this is unnecessary. Now, strangers connected by tragedy are hoping the violence ends soon and the memory of loved ones lost remain a blessing. What do you want your grandson to know about his mom and his dad? They have been singing together ever since they, they met and uh, still imagine them singing together. I would ask him to think of the joy that they sought and had in their lives rather than focus on that last day. Deborah Matia celebrated her 50th birthday just last week in Israel, surrounded by her friends and family. In the Satellite Center, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News.